So, it is time. You are finally of Lupin age in your programming career. So, here we go. This is the missile launcher we made in our low poly blender tutorial. It has six latches that release missiles. When the weapon is active, we want the latches to be open. When it's not, we want the latches to close. So, how would you program that? Well, if you followed our rotation tutorial, then you would know that the basic code kind of looks like this. We have a game object to represent our latch, a variable to control rotation, a target value to lerp smooth from one rotation to another and a boolean that triggers on and off. If we save and run the game, you will see that when the check is true, that Z rotation lerps to 90. And when the check is false, Z rotation lerps to zero. Okay, so far so good. But how do we turn this to an array? Well, it's the same way we did last video. Just put the brackets over here, save, and then in the inspector, we have six latches, so we are gonna set the size to six. And then drag each latch into a slot in the array. Okay, so this is the code to control rotation for a single object but we want to apply it to every object in the array. And this is where the loop comes in. All this means is that in one frame, it's gonna do this to each object in the array. Doesn't matter if the array size was three or 10 or 100. It's just gonna go through the whole thing and do this code for each. Technically what's happening is you're setting the local Euler angles of all the objects in the array to this, which means that if we save and run the game now, they will all behave as one. In my game, I also used a lot of loops during boss battles. Each boss had a lot of weapons that could be destroyed. Those weapons were stored in arrays. As the developer, I have no control over what order the player destroys each weapon. That is why before the boss attacks you, I use a for loop to check what weapons have been destroyed and what weapons are still intact. If the weapon hasn't been destroyed yet, fire the laser or the bomb or whatever. So loops are super useful when it comes to managing groups of objects together. But anyway, hope that helps. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.